Hi there everyone. This is another test of my scan plate or scanning plate or scan tool, whatever you want to call it. But um, a combination of ideas. This is the third test I believe that I posted. The last one was a color scan, a partial scan. This time I'm going to do the full model. Um, it's going to be a little bit longer than my normal videos. But I uh, thought it was time to move up and a little show you a little bit more of what's involved. This is how my scan plate works with all that stuff. I chose a plumbing fitting because it's kind of featureless. Outside of the threads and a little bit of embossing on the part. Mold lines, that kind of thing. It's pretty smooth. White. If I did a color scan, I'd be picking up that label on the back as well the UPC label or whatever it is that they put on there, whatever they call it. Anyway, the thing I like about the scan plate is that it has those projections. Um, and I might even I might even want to make the projections taller because that's what I was aiming for is the crinkle, crinkled paper works really, really well. It works really well. And that was Sebastian Seb on the official Rebel Point user group, the POP user group on Facebook, suggested that a long time ago, and it works really well, and it's 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 seated this thought in my head about the scanning and the the background and the randomizing of the of the uh, background. You know what what you put to confuse the scanner. That's the way I see it. Is you're distracting the scanner and getting it to scan something it ordinarily wouldn't or wouldn't want to. Um, I mean, that's how I see it. I, I'm working on the color. I think I might do better with color scans if I go to a different color. I'm thinking gray would be a good color. I kind of um, didn't try the black, really, because you see the black Sculpey I have under that piece. It doesn't show up at all. That's that void you see there. It doesn't pick up the clay. That's why I like the Sculpey. It has a totally matte surface, and the black just makes it disappear. So you can see with this, with the diff different angles of the pop too, I can get uh, nearly the whole part. That's kind of cool. I can see down inside there. And you see back at the elbow where it makes that transition. I don't have that in this scan, but I'm going to do another one after this. And you see, I just, I, in this one, I didn't use clip plane. I normally do. But with the scan plate, I did some testing before I did this video, and I found that it, it doesn't work very well unless I take the clip plane off and let it see the whole plate. Because it does see things outside that boundary. And see, and that's where you get the whole plate. And I couldn't, I couldn't maintain tracking very well at the different angles I needed for this part with the clip plane engaged. So... This really is for those occasions when you need to make multiple scans. And, of course, the scan plate is going to be locked to the object. So you can't move the object. You have to keep it in position and move just the pop. And I'm going to show you in this one, after these are complete, I'm kind of proud of myself because I've learned an awful lot. You know, if nothing else... The POP and the POP2 have taught me so much. I could not have paid any amount of money for the education I've gotten from these two scanners, the little beauties. It let me enter a whole new world. And because I have a background as a test engineer, you know, I want to I wanna fix straight up. I want to I wanna make it so it's easy for everyone else to use. That's my that's my motivation. See, I made a mistake there. I, I I moved the turntable and I didn't let it get a good look first before I started it. And I started again and you say it picked up the tracking right away. It's pretty good. So one thing I like is the the reacquisition of the tracking. Now where are we with this one? I was talking and not watching what was going on so I forgot what what phase we're in in the processing. Someone was asking about clipping the plate off. You see how 
how I have that margin there, that's from the black Sculpey underneath it. it. Makes that void, so you got a nice open space to clip it off. Oh, I see, now we're meshing. Okay, I just saw what I was doing there. It's because I've accelerated the, the playback. I have really poor internet, so it takes forever to upload these videos. And that's primarily why I do it to YouTube, because once I upload it, I can just link to it. It makes it a lot easier to share it with people. Okay, now we're meshed. Okay, now I've, I've done the two scans. I just did two views. Now we're in the mesh lab. I have I loaded both of them in. Now I'm going to slice that thing off of there. Now I made a mistake and I was in the wrong. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong model. You see, it's it's the view is shut off. Now I put it back on. Now now I'll select the right one. Now there we go. Use the rectangle. Select. Clip that off of there. Clip this one off of there. Boom, it's gone. Then I put the, turn them both back on. Put it in line mode. Glue one of them down. Glue one of them down. Move the other one into position. Okay. And then you accept it. Then you look at it again. Yeah, move it some more. Okay, accept that one. Boom. Move it some more. You got to unglue it and 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 uh, do manual rough gluing every time. But then you get it pretty close, and then you process it. And if it's not close enough, um, I if I if I understand it right, it it, it returns a percentage of error that uh, you can tune up but once you can't tune it up anymore once you hit process and another iteration doesn't make it better you know you've done the best there it is the pipe part thanks for watching see you next time